Today is April 5th, 2021, and it's um, 34 minutes past the hour of 10. I am Ifeo Luo Shinke, and on today's show, I've got with me the eloquent and formidable co-anchors. Ifeo Omai, the birthday girl, of course, we'll give her a shout out. And Emerald Emenuka, how you doing? Hello. Happy Hi. birthday to ya. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday. The party is still in you. Yeah, my guy. They give us the party that day. They chop. They chop a lady. Oh yeah. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you so How was much. It, man? How was it? It was nice. It was too nice that my phone is crashed. So uh, uh, that's a problem. Your phone. Too much ah, enjoyment. I'm telling nah, wow. you. Wow. So I can't get money out, but you know, it's been a wonderful weekend. Don't we worry, I'm sure, I'm sure an iPhone 11 is on the way. Someone is What's watching 11? that just wants to... 12? What are you talking about? Mm -hmm. 12. 12, oh, 12, already, 12 yeah. is cool, right? Mm -hmm. It's cool, right? <laughs> we'll, we'll manage that, right? Yeah, we can manage it. We yeah, can we'll work manage, we'll manage. Mm -hmm. So somebody, you know, a good Samaritan, you know, just sow a seed into the life of your fellow man, you know, for a birthday. <laughs> and so that next year, you know, which she can reciprocate, mm -hmm. you know, probably bring you on the show to say thank you next year. <laughs> 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 yeah, mm -hmm. but but you had fun, right? Yeah, obviously. I did. I did. Thank you, you to still everyone. Need some rest, right? I, I do. I do. So I, I say thank you to everyone that came out. I mean, I haven't been able to say thank out. you to anybody. Everybody was special. So thank you for coming. Do you know, I felt mm. like I was the one having a birthday party. Oh. You know why? Why? Because everyone that got to your party and didn't see me, they were calling. If I mm. were you there now, you didn't come. If I you didn't come. If I you didn't come. And I got like four calls. Yeah. I'm not even exaggerating yeah. from people, mutual yeah. friends. Yeah. They were like, ah, if I, I know they see you. Yeah. If I, I know they see you. There's still a crowd that I need to go and apologize to because I think when my, there's people I was supposed to send adver ad addresses to that morning mm. and I didn't do that because of phones and stuff. Stuff. But to be honest with you, I'm actually glad because I I expected maybe 40 people. I saw over 100 people there, so I'm like, yeah. it's okay. That you guys did not come, it's okay. We'll do it next year because yeah. they already wanted to bounce us and stuff. So, wow. but it was fun. It was really fun. So, how yeah. actually, guys, do the whole COVID rules and you know having so much. Crowd. We just, everybody sorted them, themselves out. Each yeah. person had to abide the way they knew how. If you had to yeah. wear face masks, hand sanitizers, keep your distance. Yeah. It was up to them for to the, for them to do that. Yeah. We're glad you had fun. Thank but you. Are you ready? Are you ready for the business? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes, please. Let's do it. Right. So where's your birthday gift? Mine is in the car. Where's uh, yours? Mm -hmm. We spoke already. That yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so the talk is your gift. No, well, we spoke about something. So mm. we don't have to talk about it. Yeah. yeah. No, I want you to. I said we don't have to talk about it. Okay, I won't give you a gift till I see what you've done. For <laughs> She has to do something first, ladies first. Uh, abuse. But is it okay for us to still be saying ladies first, though? It, in, the, in what context? Oh, exactly. Yeah. What exactly are you? Like maybe on? if you open the door and then. Chivalry is not go. dead now. It's fe fe <laughs> the feminism come to eat up show yeah. chivalry. Mm. I don't know. I used to do things for I your man as well. I was watching a movie, Moxie, about feminism. Have you seen it? Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Moxie, and then a guy was very cautious about how he was telling the girl, um, she, um, ladies first, and was like, oh, sorry, am I allowed to still say that? It's a feminist mm -hmm. movie, mm -hmm. actually. So that just stuck in me. I was like, okay, so there are a lot of things that we actually do unconsciously mm -hmm. that women do not actually like like when you say ladies yeah, first true. women mm. are the weaker versions yeah, you know absolutely. certain talks are absolutely. not yeah. acceptable anymore and i think a lot of men should do yeah. better but i mean chivalry is still there especially in romance i think in romance i do and um, feminism doesn't take i can remember the chimamanda's first, yeah. words when she says Shiv if chivalry is dead feminism is the cause of it mm. Mm. i can see that I can see that if you if because chivalry can also be disrespectful if it's if it's not asked for like if I meet a man that I just and it's calling yeah, me darling exactly, sweetheart yeah. what can I do for you can I do? I'm like bro I can do my thing myself relax right. but if it's like you know a relationship is yeah, very so different yeah all right so true. speaking of the weekend what was the latest thing you saw on the internet for me it was the Bride that was playing the drums at her own wedding. Right. I don't know who saw that. I, don't see that one. I saw You didn't see it. anything actually. I, I, yeah, I think, I I think your life was all you yeah. saw. Yeah. Dead, right? I so, saw it. I did. What else did you see? What was the latest you saw? Um, I think this one is actually still, but I saw it this weekend, or okay. last weekend rather. Um, it's about Davido, Davido's woman. Mm. She took out all his pictures on a mm. page and all. So I saw it. I was like, oh, oh, oh it's so another one. The new one. girlfriend. 
No, no, the, the, yeah, mm. he took down all his pictures and all. Then the, another one that I saw that is that Lee. It like is for dark. me. You like dark? That's not I mean, dark. But, no, that, but that's, that's a not gist, dark. Though, like. That's not dark. It's very dark. No, it's not dark. That she's moving on. It's not no, that. Like, that she's happy. I said it was the latest thing you saw. The I, know, I gave you an example of and a girl was, I, I, that was, I was, that was super late. That, I was not. Obviously, are you going to get married to a woman before? No, I mean <laughs> the fact that she <laughs> had to buy. On my wedding day, if I see my bride go, it's fine. Eh? If she wants to buy. Eh? That can't, Fair, you that, need to that see that, that video. Now, mm. if a first sees the video, she's definitely gonna love it. Mm. Uh, I did, yeah. I don't hate it. But it's it's not, not the latest, yeah, for right? Me, so. Okay, so what about okay? Let's let's come to you. I've now. not seen anything on no, the no, no, for your birthday, right? Imagine someone brought you a birthday cake, brought you a few drinks and all, yeah. and then you left your friend in the house. Okay, let me go drop a few friends off at, and then before you get back home, your birthday cake was gone <laughs> and your drinks. How would you feel? Ha. Someone By stole one it. Oh, stole it! Yeah. yeah. <laughs> your friend that you invited. Look at look on your so you face. invited me and then me around. I mean, and then me around decided to pack it, yo. <laughs> your cake. What and kind your... of friends are those? <laughs> I'm very confused. <laughs> but you see, something I noticed about throwing parties and doing all of that is that it's a very easy place to make a lot of friends, but yeah. it's also a very easy place to end a lot of friendships. Yeah. Depending on how you move. And I did do. I, I, there's a group of friends. I was like, ah. They mm, can never come again. Nah, come. nah, nah, nah. Next year you can't. No, as in, not even next year. You're not in my life again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's okay. There's something. Ah, uh, yeah. We're not in the same. Is it those wavelength. ones that want special attention on your birthday? I had that one as well. I had to even settle that beef yesterday. I'm like, bro, <laughs> ah. And me, I'm like, I want everyone to be okay. So I'm always asking everyone, are like, you good? If I good, I go up. Are you good? Are you good? Are you good. And someone's doing me. Oh, let's talk five minutes. Let's. I'm like, this is not the place or the time to give anyone. There's different personalities, I think, mm -hmm. when it comes to when it comes to parties. And you just have to learn how to manage all of them. But yeah, there's absolutely room for like, I need to cut you off. This is just like serious, bad okay, energy. Okay, so back to the cake because we need to move to the first story of the mm -hmm. day. So what would you do in that instance? If, if somebody... If a friend and then you called you me. You cut the person. And then I denied. I said, no, I didn't see it. Well, when I was leaving, I just sure. said, no, then you now went to the apartment that you rented for the party mm -hmm. and you asked for their CCTV footage and they showed you. Jesus yeah, Christ. Yeah, then you're out strolling out <laughs> with your cake and your drinks. This Did it actually happen to someone? Yes, it's everywhere on, on, the internet, on, on the internet. Yeah. <gasps> celebrity? No, 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 no. Regular people. Uh, that, I, That's I, even sad. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that it's not a celebrity cake. Do you I think it was that Tinubu's 69. Yeah, yeah, you get That's <laughs> you know? true. That, 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 I even held the person that stole that cake. Yeah, you're, you're, you're trying. You're, yeah, and that's just well. like money ice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're doing anyways, well. Anyways, let's move on, guys, man. Mm. Watch the circle you keep. And yeah, keep real yeah. friends. I have mm. real friends. I don't have a lot of friends, but I have real friends. Yeah. Anyway, a shocking revelation. But hey, are we surprised? Maven Records head Uncho Donjazi has for the first time ever opened up about his love life on his social Instagram handle. Donjazi, whose real name is Michael Akere, has revealed that he was married to UK based model and writer Michelle Jackson almost 18 years ago. The marriage, he said, was however short lived as they parted ways two years after. The producer's revelation comes on the heels of a tell all interview he granted Ebuka Obi Uchendu on his show. I will not give him promotion. During the interview with Ebuka, he spoke about his new home, rumors that he was broke, growing up in Ajegole, and also revealed that dance all star Daddy Shoki is his relative. Mm. Yeah, hmm. you never really know. There was not, there was no way. There was no way. I mean, considering We're the all person, doing Rihanna. Rihanna exactly, Rihanna. like, considering the person that we've seen him being, I mean, for a long time and all of that music and his life, there was no way that when I saw it, I was I was shocked. Yeah, like I was like, wow, really? This is I, I commend. Like I really give him like he's, he's doing very well at putting um his private light. Private. Off, off what N Six also said about this. What? When N Six said Don Jazzy has been in the industry for almost twenty years, mm -hmm. right? And there's still news about his private life that would break the internet. Mm. Meanwhile, some of you have reviewed all when you sleep, when you go to the toilet, when you bathe on social media stories. There is no news anymore. Do you understand? There's some celebrities that if they tell you, oh, this person just got this or this person did it, we won't be surprised because like, ah, I saw it on the story two weeks ago. Do you but, know you know, but, mm, mm. but you know, mm -hmm. I, someone could you know, put out when they eat, when they sleep, when they... Exactly. There, there are still more things that you exactly. do. 
don't know. So I think that's even because yeah. Don Jazzy actually come like he we see. Show you when he eats, when no, he don't. No, he sometimes can, he, he does. Can be but in, in, like you can, he can get his cameras really close in. You know, like he can get personal with certain things. Like he, if he, if he's in the mood. Yeah, that's what I'm showing saying. you things yeah. and doing all of that. And it really depends on that. You see, the problem with N6 on is that it really depends on the kind of um, celebrity you are or how mm. you're using the internet. Some people's type of fame is to get personal, right? Yeah. It's like the, like the people who talk about their lives or their marriage or details or they're a vlogger and you want to talk about your, your day. Life, and your day it's and really different. But I think what really caught my... I think what really warmed my heart about the story was just how much love he has for music. Mm. Yeah. Like, this thing know, did is you guys really... Watch, did you guys watch the interview with Hobie? Because he said a lot of things. He Ibuka did. With Ibuka. He did. He did. Okay, so the part that really struck me the most was when he said, okay, people were saying he was going broke and he was living in a rented apartment. Mm. I didn't even know this. So, you know, the away, 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 away. He had a box on his head, mm. the, yeah. the skid that he was mm. leaving. That was a house in Victoria Garden City, somewhere in Lekki, right? And everyone always thought that was his house. Mm. But he was actually leaving the house, which was a rented apartment, when he made that skit. Oh. So that's what he was doing. Away, 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 and carried this box. That was mm. the day he was moving out, according to the interview. And he moved to his Osaka, London New mansion home. now. You get. So that was, like, very shocking. And he said, um, it's not the type to... Put that if he has 300 million, 400 million lying around, he has businesses that he would invest in and say he wants to go and build one big house. Yes, home is important, but how do you weigh that? Do you think if you have enough money, get yourself a roof, uh, you know, above your head? Or... Okay, so th that thing is a very Nigerian thing. If you look at proper um, business analysts and all of that, mm. they'll tell you very quickly that buying a house is actually a, a liability, not an asset. Mm. So, why um, do you think so? Why? I guess a different market. Mm. In the Western world, it's not a big deal. Like most people don't own houses; they pay mortgages okay, and yeah. plans and all of that. Just because of the way houses are, I don't know, plus moving and all of that. If you plan your life well, you can do just fine with mm -hmm. a rented apartment. Yeah. It's not the end of the world. It's not a big deal. The only people, the only people that I know that abroad that have own houses and so are people who are in the real estate and they're using mm. that to make money mm. and all of that. But it's a very um, the owning house, whatever actually comes from, uh, there was a man that explained it to me ages ago, it actually comes from poverty. So because the black community, because oh. even, even when you look outside, the black community are the ones that own houses the most mm. abroad. Like to own a house, wow. most white people can do, they can oh, even, um, what's it called, cross their, give their mortgage to their children, children yeah. to continue paying that mortgage. Mm. It's mostly black people or immigrants that you see hustling to, pay, to really yeah. own houses. And that's because we don't have a good share of ownership in terms of the world, really. Mm. Like, they obviously got to us first with colonization mm -hmm. and all of that. But anyway, in Nigeria, obviously, it's very different. And I think because here it's easier to own a house, it's much easier. That owning a house abroad is not a joke. It's not any of these things. That, it's not like a London level. Like, it's a lot more expensive. So, um, but here it's easier to do. So, I mean, why not? Why not do that? And owning your things here in Nigeria is just how we do it. We don't, we don't pay mortgages for cars or phones mm -hmm. anyway. So, that culture is very different. You have to put it into context. But anyway, um, um, Don Jazzy, I really, I really liked that he did that. I also liked that he, he watched the interview. He criticized. <coughs> you see, this interview speaks a lot about who this guy is. Mm. Because you could have just done the interview and moved on with life. Mm. The fact that you looked at it and you analyzed <coughs> and criticized yourself, gave feedback, and then decided that this huge part of this, of this chunk of my life deserves to be out there. <coughs> Almost like he cannot be fake. <coughs> like he, he felt like it was he was being phony if he didn't give the truth oh. and yeah to to and you know we don't really deserve that i mean i think he, if he didn't do it nobody would yeah you, you know come for him and so so i really it speaks a lot about his character oh. and everything also for the fact that she commented the way she did um shows that they are friendly they're still yeah very they're good. friendly and they're on good terms and and everything like that i hope that one day i can look back especially with someone like don jazzy and see that i've been doing the thing that i love for that long mm. like I, I don't think everybody gets that chance to find what they love that much and, and then be also it. go for it and, and stay stay do you get what i mean it. like the lesson from this is that for those of you that break up and you think oh that's the beginning of enmity it isn't because you can actually break up with a mutual understanding knowing that okay this is the reason why the relationship is not working not because this person doesn't love me this person just pays more attention to abc mm. do you understand so that's level of 
um, maturity from young people, understanding. you know, understanding maturity between the both of them to know that, okay, it's my music I love. I wasn't paying attention to my family and they got a divorce and they remained friends and then and she was still able to talk about it and he was still talking about how much he loves her. Do you understand? Like, that was really extreme for me as well. Like, it's not, every breakup is not necessarily enmity. Yeah, but I mean, she would obviously still be hurt. So, we used to get a divorce. There was pain in that. I think he still, uh, it's, I, I could actually, we can tell from yeah. the way he wrote it that he still feels um, hurt from Yeah, the, the absolutely. Because like, you failed at the at the marriage, basically, is what mm. that is. And he did that because of his the music. And I know music is quite, like, um, consuming, especially when you're not just an artist, but you're somebody who's managing mm. a lot of artists. People's mm. dreams, mm. Well. people's dreams are in your hands, waiting to blow and, you know, be saved from the street. Like, it's a lot of pressure. Mm -hmm. I like, think about the, the rollout plans for Crayon and Rema and all these people that you have to um, um, do for. So I, I know that it's a big deal, but I really, I, I pray that one day somehow he gets um, the ability or the chance to have love for his music, still thrive, and then his personal life as well. Because I know everybody needs love. Do you, are you, uh, after hearing this about him, would you be surprised if one day he comes out and says, so I had a child, da 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 da. And the, 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 well, I mean, he already talked about that. that. He said he doesn't know. Somebody mentioned in his comments that, that, that you already said that he was like, that's what I saw, Shad. The guy was like, oh, um, next thing you know now, he's going to tell us that he has a child. And he and then Jazzy said that he doesn't know. Uh, that As of at the moment, there's none that he's aware oh, well. of. Yeah. So well, I heard that I think he's... is the kind of person that will get remarried and wouldn't even know about it either. And then maybe another five years from now, say, oh, I got married in Maybe 18 years ago, but now it's not going to be... Easy it's not, it's not, it's not gonna So be wait, the question is, another thing he kept saying is, I don't owe a lot of people any explanation. Absolutely. Those that know, know. If you don't need to know, then you don't need to know. That's, that's, that was what he kept saying. Yeah. So I feel like, look, this couldn't have been a secret. Obviously, the band knows about this wedding. Mm. Do you understand? Now, that showed a lot about his circle to loyalty. Do you understand? A lot of people didn't come out or find the need to say, okay, let me cloud chase by breaking mm. this information about Don Jazzy. After 20 or close to 20 years, right, mm. they were still able to keep it secret and not talk about his marriage, not talk about his personal life. It's not like he made them sign a, 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 an, an NDA or but anything. You see, okay, but let, let me, let, <clears throat> can I say that there's a difference between gist that everybody knows and social um, media gist? Like, yes. it is very possible that it was not a private gist that people who are not supposed to know already knew. They just didn't bring it to social media because there's that. There's yeah, but people, there are people that, because it's done jazzy, they're the friends now that like, bring it to social know, media. Put it out. Mm. But it's still all boils down to the kind of circle you have, yeah. the kind of friends you have, and the people you let, the kind of people, in as much as you have a circle, all right, we the need kind to, of people let you yeah. know about some certain things about yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We need to go on a music break and we will be right back. Don't go nowhere. Mm. 